What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the show. Today's going to be an interesting show because I've given Wilson the day off. So I'm stuck here with my, my co-star here, Raylan. Raylan, say hi to the people. Open. Open. <laughs> Come up here, man. So my, my co-star here, Raylan, <laughs> don't eat the headphones, man. <laughs> he wants to eat the Skull Candy Crushers and the uh, the XB910Ns from Sony. So Raylan's gonna be my co-star today. Man, you freaking heavy beast monster, you. All right, look, man, I got a show to do. Look, here, tell you what. Let me get you a little treat there. All right, Zitzen, Zitzen. Okay, be good. I got work to do, my, my people are here. We gotta get this show going. You need to slobber it on me. <sighs> so yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. So let's get on with the show, man. This is gonna be a pretty quick and simple one, uh, just really based on my personal opinions. I have here the slobbery, <laughs> come on in here, man. I got the, the slobbery version of the uh, the Skull Candy Crusher Evos, and then I have the, um, the brand new Sony uh, XB910Ns here. Some of you guys asked me to compare them to the uh, Crusher Evos. I honestly don't think there is a comparison to be made here. Uh, the, the Crusher Evo are the king of bass. And then we have the Challenger here, which I get it, man. You know, once you, when you're sitting up on the throne, man, people come at you. So, you know, this is Sony's version of coming at the Skull Candy Crusher, I guess. <sighs> but like I said, this one's gonna be simple, man. <laughs> I hope I don't disappoint nobody because there's not a whole lot to do here. All right, so when it comes to value, I gotta tell you, let's back you out a little bit. When it comes to value, we're paying $250 retail here. And I wanna say, Man, well, what did these cost? I'll put it right there, what these cost when they came out retail. I don't know what you can get them for now, but this is what you get with the package. Yeah, you get your your uh, your, uh, your 3.5 millimeter cables and stuff, but Sony gives you a hard shell case, which is super nice, man. It's nice to be able to protect your stuff, but Skull Candy went a little bit different with it, man. They give you a straight up pouch here, which I'm a fan of, man. I like this freaking pouch. It's got that traditional Skull Candy uh, fur on the inside. Raylan, what are you doing? What, what you doing, man? Come, come, come on. <laughs> come on, Z. Come on, Z. Okay. <laughs> come on, Z. Zitzen. 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 Ah, good boy. Good boy. Now I'm slobbering on again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ugh. All right. So, yeah, man, I'm a fan of this bag. So, I don't really think one wins over the other unless you seriously prefer a hard shell case. So, let's just move these out the way because I don't need to talk about them no more. Still on the topic of value, I want to talk about the build quality of these headphones. I don't think either one of them will be breaking anytime soon, but I have to give the the more premium build to Skull Candy because they just used a, a just an array of materials. You got the memory foam there. You got the soft touch coated uh, plastic on the top or on the outside of the ear cup there. Goes up into the yoke or the uh, the headband there. Then you got this. Like, uh, what is this? I don't know what kind of material that is. Some kind of cloth, man. And then you got some kind of neoprene stuff in there. Now I'm gonna give a shout out to my man, uh, Jimmy Long uh, from Jim's Review Room. He is the OG GOAT. For those of y'all who are new to the YouTube headphone game, let me tell y'all about my man, Jim. Jim, you gotta come back, bro. Jim is the freaking GOAT. I know a lot of great people do great headphone videos, but Jim is the freaking GOAT. Go back and check his videos. It's called Jim's Review Room. His channel's still up, he just don't do it no more. But this is a straight up shout out to him, man. As far as durability goes, I'm not hearing any crickety cracking in this going on. I mean, these things are tanks and they bring the heat when it comes to bass, which we'll get into next because I gotta make sure I do this durability. You hear that? I'm hearing claps. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or nothing like that, but you know, when it comes to durability, Sony has never really been, you know, I've heard a lot of complaints about Sony's durability. I don't think these are gonna break. I've never personally had a Sony headphone break on me, uh, but that's what people complain about. So I'm doing this here, man. I'm risking 250 of my own bread <laughs> right now, man, for you guys. Shout out to Jim once again. He'll never wanna play with that toy. Now I'm talking to y'all and he just wants to play with the freaking toy and slap it all over the place. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt that dog, man. <laughs> Franklin, be quiet, man. I'm trying to work here, bro. I'm trying to make money to get your damn food and pay for your baths and stuff. Okay. 
Digging into these ear cups, I'm gonna go ahead and classify this as, man, it's hard to classify this as memory foam because it, it's nice and plush, but it just comes up a little too fast, man. Look at this. Look at the speed at which both of these rise to their original position. You see that? You still, you see Skull Candy still working on it there? Let me do it again. Yeah, the Skull Candies are still working on it and these just pop right up. But then you got nothing but, you know, plastic here. You know, then you got some vinyl right here. Um, this this is actually the, the most premium feeling plastic that they've used on these Sony. So from a durability and build quality standpoint, I just got to give it to the uh, Crusher Evo. Now, when it comes to battery life and all that stuff, eh, whatever, you can go to their websites and look up all that kind of stuff. I ain't worried about that. They both have quick charge and they both have a decent battery life. I don't even know what they are, to be honest with you. What you came to find out is which one brings the noise. Well, I, I think I already told you, it's the Crusher Evo, man. Skull Candy has built into their app what they call a personalized sound. And that way you can actually bring out uh, tones and stuff that you can't normally hear. It's almost like enhanced hearing for uh, some areas of your hearing where there might be some degradation. So if you can't hear certain mid-tones or highs, you're, it's gonna bring it out in here and you don't have to mess around with an EQ. So that's a really nice thing to have because once you int introduce all that bass into your music, you still you, you still wanna hear all of the music. You wanna hear instruments, you wanna hear the highs, the mids and everything else, but you still need that extra kick. Sony's relying on something a little bit more traditional, which is an EQ with what they call extra bass. So it's a built-in slider into the app. It's not a physical slider. It's just a, you know, a little slider that just slide up and down from zero to plus 10 to zero to minus 10. And it just adds extra bass into your music. Honestly, these things come bass bloated. So in my listening sessions, I've always had to turn the bass down into the negatives. There's no way I can actually listen to these with the bass on zero because all the bass seems a little bit overwhelming. So I just take it back a little bit. And even inside of the EQ, dude, really? What What is the deal with you, man? You, you just don't, you not in the mood for me to work today? It's all about you, really? Hold on, man, we'll get to you in a second. Now, I've actually had to take the first two bands of my EQ and drop them down a little bit to take out some more of that bass, even though I've taken the bass slider down a little bit. Now, for me, that's an issue because when I get a set of headphones, I wanna be able to listen to all of my music. I wanna hear everything, okay? And then, you know, when you get a specialized headphone like this, cause it's extra bass, right? When you get a specialized headphone like these, you, you, you don't want to walk around with two different headphones. So you want the capability or versatility to be able to listen to, I don't know, maybe some classical or some country, or uh, then you might want to move into like EDM or something like that. And then you might want to go into something with a little bit more instruments, like, um, you know, maybe some classic rock or something like that. And then you might want to come back into some hip hop or some R&B. With these, these are straight up for bass heads who just like bass. And then you have the option here, the, the option of having bass on the fly with that bass slider. Dude, it is a simple slide. You see where I keep mine right there, you see? <laughs> just a little bit. It's just a simple slide. So you got these things on your head and you just tap it up a little bit. You don't have to pull out your phone and go into the app or anything like that. So you just tap it up or slide it up a little bit and you got your bass. And then next song changes. And then, you know, you don't need all the extra bass. Bam, you just slide that bad boy back down and you still have great quality of music. Whereas with the Sonys, I'm just not feeling it, man. Um, for somebody who doesn't have either of them, I would absolutely suggest, you know, going with the uh, Crushers. Uh, but everything else is going to be all subjective. What you want them to look like, you know, the comfort on your head. I think the Sonys are actually a little bit more comfortable because they're lighter. Yeah, they're lighter, but they actually feel a little cheaper on my head as far as these ear pads right here. But these crushers, they're a little bit more tight because uh, Skull Candy makes things for people with like, you know, small peanut heads. A little bit more snug as far as the fit, but it feels like quality on your head, man. This, this is a straight up biased video. I came into this already knowing what I liked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when it comes to comparing these two, if you got the options, I cannot. And, and, and sound mind suggests someone choose the Sony XB910 in over the Crusher Evos. But then what if you want active noise cancellation along with all that extra bass? Well, you have one decision and that's this, the XB910. And that is what 
the Sony's have over the uh, the Skull Candy Crusher Evo. That that's the only thing they got on top of that, man. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff. Told you this one's gonna be simple, man. It's just it wasn't even really a fight for me. <laughs> it, it just wasn't. Look, I gotta go take care of this dog. He he probably needs to like walk or something. <laughs> He's over here looking all sad and stuff. Raylan, Raylan, come over here. Come come on, Z. Open. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, say goodbye to the people, man. You know how we do, <laughs> you know how I do this, man. <laughs> this is what you gotta do, look. You gotta say, look, we are not experts in this kind of stuff, but what we do know is, this is, this is base. It's too much freaking base. And this is that good base. You know, that, that good base. That's what, that's all we know. <laughs> all right, y'all keep being good to each other and we'll see you when we see you. Oh, y'all still here? Look, man, the video's over. But if y'all still want to hang out, I'm getting ready to head over to my podcast. It's called Talk To Me. The podcast nobody asked for, but I'm giving it to you anyway. So go ahead and go on your phone and go on there and, and uh, yeah, click subscribe and hit the notification bell. And then go to the, uh, the Talk To Me Clips channel and hit the, yeah, the notifications and the subscribe. Yeah. All right, man. I'll see y'all when I get there. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?